Welcome back to Africa 54. Zambia is turning high tech into a major export. Now, Paul Ndiho recently returned from Zambia and he joins us now with the details. Paul. Uh, it's good to be back, uh, Vincent. Uh, Bongo Hive is Zambia's technology and innovation hub, a creative and innovative space that gives young developers a platform to work and incubate new ideas and learn from each other. I recently visited the hub and here is more. An innovation, a revolution is unfolding in Africa. And this year, there are many stories about young people creating new technologies and applications that are driving the continent's growth and turning around its global image. The Lusaka Best Tech Hub started three years ago, and it provides a space where young creative minds hone their skills. Bongo Hive founder and executive director Lukonga Lindunda says that brilliant minds have never been in short supply in Zambia. We uh, allow young people to innovate, um, so they come in, provide them with access to uh, internet, um, to skills development as well, and also an opportunity uh, when, as they are building the idea that they have access to mentors, funders, and really a network that allows them to bring the idea to life. Bongo Hive is behind the app that is generating a lot of buzz in Lusaka. The draft constitutional mobile application launched recently has been downloaded more than 6,000 times. The draft constitution was only available uh, on the website uh, as uh, a PDF uh, uh, document. And so he managed to convert that PDF document uh, into a searchable uh, application, which you could actually search for specific keywords, but not only that, but be able to also uh, submit your comments uh, straight to the technical committee that was drafting the, the constitution. Charles Mwanza is part of a development team working on the app. So this is a Zambian constitution application. So as you can see, there is a preamble there. So it basically explains exactly what's in the constitution. With a good idea, an entrepreneur spirit, and uh, an interest in all things take, Young people from across Africa are learning that their skills are extremely valuable. Jacqueline Hanna Quenda is a video editor at Bongo Hive. Whether we're training girls how to use um, video editing software and cameras, so we came here. I came for that for that um, workshop, and then later on, I got interested in. Uh, furthering my skills on how to film and edit video. There are similar tech hubs in Africa like Bongo Hive in Kenya, Nigeria, Uganda, and Ghana. And all are trying to harness the potential of the world's fastest growing mobile phone market. George Lupupa Mutale is in charge of outreach at Bongo Hive. He says their goal is to empower local communities by giving them an opportunity to tell their stories. Take those stories out and let the whole world see that Africa is doing something innovative and specifically like Bongo Hive or maybe in different parts of countries where they're creating hubs, that, um, that, that's, that's where the gold mine is and yeah, see how the stories can be created out of it. Joshua Chipili is a self-taught robotics engineer. We're all self-taught, uh, would I say maybe engineers, tech mm -hmm. engineers and all that, yeah. That teach ourselves, then come together, then come up with certain ideas that would maybe help in the future. Bongo Hive also offers a free office space to Cassandra Martin, CEO and co-founder of Zambia's trending website where clients shop for groceries and other household products. We're currently delivering in two provinces in Zambia. And the way it works is through our site, clients can buy groceries and household goods and then we deliver directly to their families or favorite charities. 2014 has been a year brimming with insightful innovations. It will be exciting to see what a Bongo Hive has to offer next year. Earlier this month, a Bongo Hive partnered with a UNICEF along with the universities in five other countries in a global design challenge aimed at engaging students in Zambia into local problem solving and global collaboration around pressing international problems. Back to you, Vincent. Well, Paul, very exciting, great reporting there. But uh, it looks like despite of a country like Zambia being economically not very strong, the young people are taking the lead in uh, high tech and they're not allowing themselves to be stopped by anything. 
Well, it's uh, twofold. I'll look at it in twofold. One, uh, they have told themselves we can't sit back and wait for the government to create employment for us. So we have to go out there and create employment. Uh, secondly, uh, there is this technology revolution that is sweeping across uh, the entire continent. Everybody wants to create something to be part of something. Well, thank you very much and uh, definitely we have a lot more to expect from you, Paul. Uh, thanks for having <laughs> me, Vincent. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Great.